10 games and 7.1 surround sound is coming. They keep pulling it out of the bag. So this week we have six day and date games coming to the service and we have two extra platform choices, which I'm liking to call them now. Let's look at the two biggest games coming to the platform this week, which any cloud gaming platform would be really happy to have. The first one is LEGO Brawls, which comes out tomorrow and it looks as good as the other brawling games that have been released in the last weeks or so. It looks like there's going to be a lot of ways to customise your character with a lot of unlockable content coming. You can team up and brawl 4v4, you can party with friends and play in a battle royale style game mode to beat the competition. And all this on GFN with its low latency or ultra low latency, you should be fine playing this game in the cloud. The other one is F1 Manager 2022. Make your mark on F1 in this officially licensed game. Be the boss of your chosen constructor and pick from a roster of 2022 drivers and staff. As a Hamilton fan, I kind of want to help him out this season. He's not doing the best. And it'd be quite cool to actually like play this and make him win. If you want to check out a first look of this game, we have a video done by Barry, which is up in the cards and in the description down below. But let's get through the rest of them first before you decide to leave me for Barry. The other new four games are Call of the Wild, The Angler, another fishing game, but from the creators of The Hunter. You can explore the open world to find the best fishing spot. Visually, this looks so peaceful and tranquil, it almost makes me want to kind of try fishing. But as like last week, I don't know if I'll give it a go. Let me know in the comments down below if you are. Next is Scaved, which is a blood-soaked first-person shooter. It kind of reminds me of like an older style Doom. I like the graphics of it. This game supports full cross-play online multiplayer, where players can drop in and drop out at any time. You can call upon three different friends to help you out, but with a little twist that everyone shares the same pool of lives. I kind of like that idea, all for one, one for all kind of thing. Next is Gerda, a flame in winter. You walk through the path of Gerda as her quiet life is turned upside down by World War II. In this intimate narrative RPG, we see how far you would go to protect your loved ones. Interesting concept for a game. Let me know if you're going to pick it up. Next is Mythbusters the game. It comes out today. The game is a first person sim that adapts to the famous show itself, the D Discovery show. You can run some crazy experiments and manage the production of the episodes. I think if you know the show, you'll know what to expect for the game. This one has piqued my interest. I think I might actually pick this one up. Two of the older games that are coming are Hotline Miami 2, wrong number, and Looming Craft. And the two extra platform choices are Arcane Paradise, which is now available on Epic Game Store, and Dark Destiny, again on Epic Game Store. We have seen a few updates in the last few weeks coming to GFN, and the next one is 2.0.44, which for priority members is going to mean that you are going to experience 5.1 surround sound, and if you have the 3080 tier, you will experience 7.1 surround sound. These updates with the last few that we've got, I've just taken GeForce now to another level compared to everyone else when they were already at another level. If you want to check out the rest of the games coming this September, check out this video that Duncan's done that's going to break down every single game coming this September that we know of. There's usually more.